Word, Module 8, Textbook Project 8.2. This is Part 2 of Integrating with Other Programs and Collaborating. So go ahead and open the Start file. Click Editing, Enable Editing. The Show Hide should be on, so if it isn't, go ahead and turn it on. And then it'll be saved as IL underscore WD underscore 8 underscore online survey, all one word, underscore your name. Increase the zoom to 120%. Click the review tab and you want to turn track changes on. The button on the track changes is two separate buttons. If you just click the top part, it turns it on and you'll know because it turns it gray. Make sure in the tracking section that the down arrow, make sure it's not on simple, it's on all markup. So the first thing, if you were to happen to look at the comment by Anthony, it says, I don't think, I think this is too much, change it to $5. So you'll select the $10 and choose delete. And then you'll put what you think it should be, $5, and then just make sure you press the space bar. So it's showing the indication of the $10 that was there previously. It's been deleted and the new amount is $5. Now we'll scroll down to question four and we'll select all of question four and even the paragraph symbol and we'll, we'll choose home and select cut. So it takes it out of there. And what happens is the old five becomes the new four. Put your cursor after needs home improvement and press enter, then press backspace, and then you'll paste the old number four. So you're just switching the order of it. So we lost the enter, so go after home improvement and press enter to get another one. But it thinks you want to continue with E, just press backspace and that goes away. So you have just the enter. And now this is the new number five. Go to the top of the screen and select the title. And we're going to increase the font size to 20, 20 points. And you'll notice over in the comment section, it has that it's been, it's been a formatting change of the font. And then we'll go into the font color and we're looking for at lavender accent three, 50%. And that'll be also indicated in the comment section. And then click anywhere in paragraph one to deselect. Click the Review tab and change the All Markup to Simple Markup. So all it's showing are the um, the comments that are they're still there, but the formatting changes that we made are gone. Uh, the change from $10, the deletion is not there, but the $5, the new one is there. Our, our new number four is clearly marked and our number five. And even though we saw the um, letters at the end of number five, those are no longer showing. And then if you don't want to show your comments right now up in the comment section, it's grayed, so it's been selected. So if you will reverse it when you click it and it's not showing the comments anymore, there are little boxes here. If you wanted to see what the comment individually is, you can do click those. We're going to go back to the simple markup and select all markup. And in the reviewing pane, you'll see the comments from Anthony and the formatting changes that you made. Click in the tracking group, select reviewing pane, and then choose When you click the reviewing pane, and there, there's two choices um, where it shows it vertically, 
and that shows it over here on the left hand side um, and these are all the changes that have made been made throughout this document and you can scroll to see all of them the other choice is if you were to choose horizontal so it appears below that's just the two differences between vertical and horizontal but it's showing all the revisions and how many that they have been made so we're just going to close out of here and scroll over to the comments on question four uh, um, Anthony's comment here is saying I don't think we should have the word we should remove the word major so now we'll select major and press delete and then we'll also delete his comment so if you select the comment you can go up to the top and choose delete going to control home in the document and then in the tracking group click the tracking box launcher and then you'll have uh, more options you'll select advanced options and then in the insertions click the down arrow and choose double underline and we'll select the preferred width of the balloon We'll change the preferred width of the comment. So this is the comment section. And the preferred width will be just two inches. And then you'll click OK and OK. So it's much narrower on the right hand side. And you'll see the du double underline on the track changes. Control Home takes you to the beginning of the screen. So right now you should be at the beginning of the document, Control Home, and in the Changes group, you're going to select the button labeled Next Change, and it takes you to the very first change. And that should be the title, and it's indicating the changes that were made. And what you'd like to do is accept these changes. So select the down arrow for Accept, and choose accept and move to next and the next one is when you change you deleted the ten dollars and put in five dollars and now because you just chose accept and move to next that's the um, default setting so you just have to click the top part of accept and it'll go right to and you can see it it's hovering over it. it's actually saying accept and move to next so it's been accepted the comments are gone the track changes are gone on this one we're not going to do anything so click next so it goes to the next one and we'll accept and we'll also accept the um, track the comment from Anthony For the URL one, we're going to reject. So up in the changes group, you do have a reject. So you click the down arrow and we're going to choose reject and move to the next and then reject again. And then at this point, once we've moved past the URL one, we'll go to the accept button and choose accept all changes. And then in the comments group, choose the arrow for delete and choose delete all comments in document. 
and that's a save and submit. Thank you.